Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In my last video we did pumpkin juice and I promised we'd be doing something Halloween related and pumpkin juice related next. So in this video we're making jack-o'-lantern juice. My goal here was to uh, take it up a notch and just level it up a bit and make something even cooler than pumpkin juice, which is hard to do because this is already a really, really cool design of the label and prop design, just the whole thing is really cool. But you be the judge, let me know, did I achieve my goal? Did I take this up a notch and level up the design and the presentation. Check out the description box below for all the supplies you're gonna need to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna go over, because I did this in my pumpkin juice uh, DIY video, is the top, which is the pumpkin. It's just a little tea light here, which I've used a small screwdriver to take apart, and I took out the insides. So that leaves us with this. This is the bottle I'm gonna be using, and I also have a larger bottle that's a very similar shape, but it's really important for your bottle to have this kind of like indent in the bottom right here. See where my finger can go there. This one was a wine bottle, and I couldn't find any that had that bulge at the bottom that goes inward other than bottles of alcohol. So, <laughs> but you really are gonna need that. This can't be done without it, and you'll see why in a minute These that it's so cool. The first thing that I wanna do is get the inside, the, the liquid I'm gonna put in here, and I wanna get it right first. And for this, I'm using all isopropyl alcohol inside of here. Um, no water at all, I'm not gonna dilute it. Since it is all alcohol, you might wanna wear a mask or do this in a ventilated area. The reason I've decided to do the inside liquid first is because when you pour it in there, um, it's easy to make a mess and you don't want to ruin your label and we want to make this rubbing alcohol orange to do that I'm going to be using red and yellow food coloring I'll show you over a white background so that you can see it better, but it is pretty orange now So for me that was about five or six drops of red and one drop of yellow And this is where the magic is going to start happening this folk art antique gold metallic paint. You can do whatever color you want, but I thought gold would go well with orange. And I'm gonna put just a little bit in at a time. That's probably enough right there because I don't wanna to do too much. I still want this to be translucent. I just want it to shimmer. It is working pretty well. You can see those really cool looking swirls inside the bottle. So that's what we're going for right there. Just a nice orange swirly liquid that's still a little bit translucent. I will try something different for the, the stem on the pumpkin in this one, because I did the craft paper in the last one. Somebody who made one uh, using my video showed me how they used some uh, leather to make their stem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a try. You just need it to be thick enough to fit through the stem hole. I'm gonna take some hot glue and just put a little bit right on the inside, maybe a little bit more, a little closer to the end, there we go. And then I'm just gonna roll it over on itself. If any kind of comes out the end as you're squeezing it closed, just let it dry a little bit and you can wipe it away real easy. And now the stem comes up through. That looks pretty nice. I am gonna have to cut it down a little shorter though. It's a little bit thicker than the one that I had and it's a little straighter. I guess you can sort of bend it a little bit so it's not just sticking straight up out of the bottle. But yeah, there you go. That's an alternative way to do the stem. Pretty good. And that is going to glue on top of this screw off top right here. I'm going to fill part of this in with some hot glue. And then I'm going to dip basically the top of the bottle into this. So let's give it a try, see what happens. I'm hoping that'll sort of drip around the lid there and work out pretty well. The next thing I'm going to do is some of this twine or jute cord wrapped around the neck of this bottle. I think that's gonna give it a nice look. Basically the idea here is you're going to take this cord, fold it over on itself like this. So we're just gonna place that right along where we're gonna start wrapping. This piece is just gonna hang loose, and then we're going to start wrapping it 
around the neck of the bottle. This part needs to be sort of held on by wrapping the cord around it. Keep wrapping that around the neck of the bottle until we get to the top. Well, once you're at a point where you feel like you have enough cord wrapped around the neck of your bottle, go ahead and cut the cord and pull it through the loop you, you made at the top. And then if you pull on the bottom uh, string, it's going to tighten that loop all the way up until it's nice and tight on the bottle. Trim that a little bit shorter. You can trim this one a little bit shorter. And then you can use something to tuck it under if you want to hide it. I think I did mine a little too tight. It's not wanting to tuck in there, so I'm just going to cut it even shorter. Now we need the label. As usual, you want to print the template and cut it out. I used my Cricut to cut mine out, so it's cut pretty precisely right here. I've also got a larger one, so there are two different sizes. This one is two inches tall. This one is three inches tall. And here is a closer, better look at the design of the jack-o'-lantern juice. I was pretty happy with this design. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this one is finally printed on sticker paper, so I can just peel it off of there. I did use my Cricut to cut that out as well. However, the small one, I hadn't gotten the uh, paper yet, so the small one's on regular, which I'm gonna use glue to glue on, which is fine. It works just as well. And we're gonna stick it on right here. And that's how it looks with the label on it, the string and the pumpkin top. I think that jack-o'-lantern juice is looking pretty cool, especially with the swirls inside. One last thing I like to do to that cord is uh, apply a little fire to it and it'll singe off all those little hairs and also it makes it look a little more vintage. There is one more thing we need to do to complete this. So remember how I said you need that uh, indent in the bottom of your bottle? Well, we are going to take the light that was once inside of the tea light. I put it back together, I put the batteries back in it and we can turn it on so it'll glow and then it fits perfectly in that in that spot. What you are left with is a glowing bottle of jack-o'-lantern juice with the swirls in it and everything. I don't know how well the camera is picking up the swirls, but the glowingness of that is just so cool and perfect for jack-o'-lantern juice. I'm going to do the same thing with the larger bottle now, and since it was a wine bottle, the cork is now gone, so I have these corks. I'm going to find one that fits properly. The leather works great, and it holds up really well, but I think I prefer the, the look of the brown paper for the stem. The leather works. It's just the paper just... I like the twistiness of it, <laughs> and it just strikes me a little bit more organic looking, I guess, if that's what you're after. As you can see, there's going to be a little bit of glass at the top where it gets wider, so that's where I stopped. I'm going to do something different with this large bottle to try and hide that, and it'll probably look pretty cool. And you could also do it with the small one if you wanted to. So I've got some green uh, glue in here, a green glue stick in here, and I'm going to put green on top and sort of around the edges so it sort of starts to drip down, almost like wax. This is also going to help seal the pumpkin top on there. I'm just going to put a whole bunch right on top, and then we'll take the pumpkin and stick it right on top of that. So here is how the large jack-o'-lantern juice bottle looks so far. And the last thing we need for it is the label. Like I said, I printed this on sticker paper. I finally got myself some, and I used my Cricut, so it peels off perfectly. I would also like to mention that this is a 100% original design by me. I will be selling these pre-cut stickers ready to go. You can just peel them off like I did, and they are on my Etsy shop, but there's only a limited quantity because of, you know, I'm, I'm printing and making all these by hand at home. So I'm limited to my resources. So if anybody's interested in a Jack-O-Lantern Juice label sticker, pre-cut and ready to go, check out my Etsy shop. So here's the moment we're waiting for. Let's see how it looks over the light. I can see the swirls in there. The light is really lighting it up pretty well on the back. I'm not sure about the front. What is the final verdict, you guys? Did, did I accomplish my goals? Is this one cooler than this one? Um, did I cheat by putting a light on the inside? I don't think so, because 
It's a jack-o'-lantern juice, so jack-o'-lanterns glow, right? All I can say is that I am very pleased with how both of these turned out. I think they look really cool. I do want to know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think, but I'm just happy with it. And I think they're gonna look really cool on the shelf with the lights underneath of them. If you made it all the way to the end of the video with me, you're a wizard, Harry. Give it a thumbs up down below if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.